Are we? So <laughs> right now we're live at Gov Ball. The crowd is going crazy. The strokes are still not on stage because, you know, they're the strokes. Who cares about punctuality when they're rock stars? Um, my producer is telling me that I should maybe bring some of the hosts that were out in the field to see how they fare live. So uh, I'm going to hand over to Jake Lawson. Jake? Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Jake. I'm a production assistant at Viceland, which means usually I'm just kind of like punching holes in papers and putting them in binders, and then I put the binders inside a cabinet. But today, they decided it would be a good idea to put me on live television. Keep in mind, at any moment, the Strokes could come on, and they're way cooler than I am, so they're going to cut away from me and go to the Strokes. Anyway, while I'm here, I, I figured I could utilize this time to tell you guys about some great tips that I have uh, just about, you know, staying safe, staying good uh, and, and happy at, at these festivals. They can get kind of crazy, so let's just dive right into it. So it's kind of crazy, I, 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 drew this, I drew this knee here. When you stand with your legs totally straight up and you lock your knees like that, you could just pass out from standing, which would suck because then you're passed out in the middle of a freaking field with a bunch of people. That stinks. So in order to, to replicate uh, this, this proper knee here, all you have to do is release tension. Don't lock your knees, maybe dance around a little bit. Gets the blood flowing. The veins pump the blood back up to your brain and then you, you, can, you can not pass out. That's nice, right? Anyway, they're still not on, so I'm going to move on to my second tip. Uh, there's a picture of a pirate. So pirates, uh, pirates used eye patches to cover up one of their eyes like this. And the reason they did that is because they could see in the dark better by taking the eye patch off. Whoop. Now their eye is opened up. The iris of their eye is opened up, and they could see in the dark. It's perfect. So you could try that at the festival, and then you could find your friend you haven't seen in a while. Anyway, here's the third tip I have. This is a guy I drew passed out because one time I had a friend who was passed out and he was wearing cargo shorts. Let's assume his name is Dan, okay? So Dan's passed out on his side. And uh, one of the things that you should do when you have a friend who's passed out is gently roll them onto their side so they don't barf in their own. Can we say barf on live TV? Okay, okay, so the, you, you, can, uh, you can keep your friend from barfing in his own mouth by putting him on his side or her side. And uh, then you'll all have a terrific night, a safe night. Another thing you can do when you have your friend who's passed out at a festival is to, uh, to find somebody with a walkie-talkie. You probably won't have cell service. I don't have cell service here, which sucks. So find somebody with authority with a walkie-talkie. Boom, you can have your friend call an ambulance and then like, you know, you probably won't get in trouble and your friend will survive. That rocks. Anyway, here's one of my last tips for you guys and then I hope to pass it on to the next person. So uh, sunburn's a real big deal, and I had it recently, and it sucked. And I got it from UVB rays. So apparently there's two types of sunburn, UVA and UVB. And uh, the sun shines down onto your skin. And, and UVA just hits the, hits the epidermis, which is the, the, the really deep part of your skin. But then UVB rays just, just burn the, the skin surface. So uh, UVB rays come out when it's cloudy, so people don't put sunscreen on. But then they get burnt, and then they get, they get sun poisoning, and it sucks. So when you're at the festival, maybe tomorrow, just go ahead and throw your, uh, throw your sunscreen on. Slap it on your skin. I'm sorry? Yeah, yeah. Let's, uh, I got some more friends who are standing here, and uh, we're all equally as cool. So I, I was hoping to have them come on, too. Use this mic. Thank you, Jake. Um, hi, I'm uh, Eric Sunderman from Noisy. Uh, and we're live here. We're at Governor's Ball. Uh, we showed up pretty early today, uh, I think about 11 o'clock. We're still waiting for the Strokes. Um, they started to play music, which is never a good sign when you're waiting for a band. Um, and so we're here and we're hanging out. So I think I was just, I'll tell you some stories about the things we did today. I ran into a guy, I actually interviewed, I feel kind of honored, I interviewed the first person in line today. Uh, he was a Strokes fan. I don't remember his name, but I think it was Keith. He was here with two girls. He seemed very excited. Uh, his favorite Stroke, he couldn't name. Uh, and then we talked to a few other different people. Um, we kind of, we watched the, uh, uh, w what happened uh, at the security gates today, getting in and, and um, I, it, the security, did their job in that I think they're allowing all of these great people having a good time tonight. 
Um, and so, I don't know. Uh, and so, we're here and we're waiting for the strokes. And Eric, I, Eric, I think that Jake is actually winning right now. Oh let's, man, let's pass Jake's it on to winning. Else. Oh man, uh, Jake's winning. Okay, who's jumping up next? Hi, uh, I'm Sylvia from Memphis, Tennessee. Um, I'm actually the production assistant, so I had no idea I would be getting up here doing this hosting audition until 10-ish minutes ago. Otherwise, I would have brushed my hair and maybe done like two or three push-ups, so I would have come out here looking uh, really toned. So I'm going to tell you a story that has absolutely nothing to do with music All right, sorry, festivals. sorry, Sylvia. We're going to stick you. Like, you're a great production assistant. Let's just let's get, let's get someone else on here. OK, Dan, here we go, Dan. We're live, Dan. Hi, everyone. My name's Dan, and I am the equipment manager for Vice, and they made me come to this festival today because I've never been to a festival in my life. And then my producer asked me to go on live TV because I've never done that before either. Uh, so far, my experience of both of these has been pretty pleasant. Uh, festivals are actually, I'm learning, an okay thing to do. Uh, it's not something I would usually choose to do. There's an awful lot of people here. Uh, there hasn't been a lot of music so far. It's been mostly sitting around and standing around and waiting in lines and looking for food and looking for shade. Uh, but I think the music is about to start, which is supposed to make it interesting. And I'm looking forward to that. Uh, I don't really know how to do this by myself. I kind of you're, wish... you're from Iowa, right? Yeah, I'm from Iowa. Give us a story about Iowa. Everyone wants to hear that. Uh, you think somebody wants to hear about Iowa Everyone on live wants TV. to hear about it. The people in Iowa are watching. The people in New York are here. So why would I want to tell them they already know everything about Iowa? There's nothing to know about. I mean, hey, everyone, if you're at home watching this, I'm sorry, but you know there's nothing to know about Iowa except for corn and pigs. They don't have strokes there. They have strokes here in New York at Governor's Ball. <laughs> I'm going to give you, else. let's, let's, uh, are you, you see, this is dead, dead air. air. I kind of want you to keep Now going. we have dead air. So the thing about dead air, oh, I'm talking to the camera. <laughs> let's get Taji in here. Yeah, I need some help here. Hey, Taji, since I'm not a TV personality, I have my friend Taji here, who is also not a TV personality. He used to be my intern at Vice. How's uh, it, how, how are you? How's it going, Dan? Pretty good. What's it like being on the live TV? I don't know yet. I haven't seen it. What do you think about this crowd here? I think that they look ready for the strokes. They keep kind of fooling us. Like they'll put a live sound where it sounds like the mic hit the ground. I think or some they're sort doing of... that to get people to show up. But, but I don't they... see why they need to do that because it's already like looks like 10, 20, 30,000 people here. Do, the producer, do we know how many people are here? Tens of thousands, I think. Um, so these tactics that they're using seem almost redundant. And it's something I'm not sure I appreciate because it's got me in this situation. I agree. Do you have a lobster joke to hold no, us over? No, we don't want to do they... any lobster jokes. Tell me uh, the thing you were saying earlier about how you were afraid to be on live TV because your mind may fail and you may oh. some, say something that will ruin your career forever. Yeah, I was just thinking back there and chatting with Dan. It's a little harder to express it on live TV than when we were just in conversation, but I was just thinking that if you say the wrong thing, this could really be it. Like right now, we're kind of, our mind is in control of our future. The point of this is, is Vice has never done a live broadcast before, and we're doing the best job we possibly can. And you guys are going to have to excuse us because we've never done this before. I think. Yeah, basically, I was just kind of scared that I might say the wrong thing. I think we should try so another I'm host out. Trying for a bit. my best what not to. What would the wrong thing to say be? You want us to say the wrong thing. I think that's a bad idea. I have some ideas, we, things we could say. What can we say on TV, Dan? Julian Casablancas is a wonderful singer. Oh, yeah, I just wanted to say, I think it's really cool that we're here actually about to see The Strokes live because I've always liked The Strokes. No, I remember. You haven't. I swear, I'm not what? kidding. Bull crap. Back in the day, my friend, do you remember Scotty Shorts from ABC? You know, ABC? I don't even know what they sound like. Oh, they he, had that song about last night? Yeah, he skated to is that. that the you song? don't remember the video? Last there's, night. There's so we're going to hear that. There's a skate video that they used right, The Strokes that. song, but we're. So I wanted to reference that because I used to really like the video, and now I'm here on live TV about to watch The Strokes perform. So just a little personal story that I wanted to. All right, to, so our viewers out there. Just, you know. What for, would you like to know about The Strokes? Go ahead and email. The sheets? The seats. The seats. The seats. 
Our view right here is pretty good. It's pretty awesome. I like it because we're not in the crowd. Do we have any shots of the crowd we can cut to? We should probably cut to some crowd shots right about now. Can we maybe just punch in for a second? Mm -hmm. I think they should punch into the crowd. Can we punch into the crowd can for a moment? In? Can we zoom in on them? You should zoom in on Taji's mood meter. No, oh, yeah. no, don't do that. I guess I that. can talk about my mood no, no, meter. No, 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 um, no. I'm trying to think if I was watching this, what I would like to see. Do you have any more safety facts for us, Jake? Yeah, I think we should bring, oh, yeah. Why don't we bring on Eric? Yeah, can we have Kyle, maybe? Have we had Kyle, oh, Kyle. yet? So what? Are we still dead live? Dead air, dead air. Are Whatever we live? Dead air, we just say dead air. What I also That's how you make sure the executives don't cut us. Yes. All right, good. All right. All right, let's talk well, about the crowd. That's a pretty cool Keep phone. Your open to the thing. That's kind of a cool it's cell a phone cool down phone. there. What do you think? It's, it's uh, a pretty cool phone. Uh, oh, look at that big lightsaber thing. Can we get a shot of the lightsaber? No, they can't get shots of anything. Because we're not the technical director here. <laughs> but it's kind of hard to mix. All right, so we have three people right now. They look pretty cool. Those are <laughs> these people look cool. Those are cool people. They're, They're waiting. Waiting. There's definitely a lot of anticipation in the air right now. It's a patience game, festival attendance. Last time I attended a festival, I waited forever. Let me know when we're back, cause I was gonna try out some of my stand-up. Are we back? Are we back? Look at how sad those guys are. Oh, oh those guys look really sad. Why are you holding that to me? Oh, it's such a shame when people go to try to do something fun and then they get sad. Oh, man. Let me like, know we're back because I, I got to... You know what? The U.S. government should hire me because I'm as good at tanking as Abrams is. <laughs> they make the tanks for the military. Abrams. So we're making a quick lighting adjustment in case you guys are wondering what's going on. Oh, we're still in the crowd. That's right. probably for the best. Okay, so this guy's wearing looks like three hats. I don't understand why you would ever do that. What's that? Stand still. Oh, I understand. Stop talking. I'm gonna get fired for this. <laughs> yeah, we blew it. Well, I blew it. You were doing pretty good until I came on something to say I can't get fired for this? You were doing... A, but this isn't about me. This is about the festival. You were doing really well, too, until I came on. What? You were doing what? really well until I came on. I was not. <laughs> you were. What were you talking about? I couldn't hear from back there. Yeah, so that's how you know I wasn't doing well. <laughs> no, but I was in the back. Are we just going to hold each other for the next, yeah. like... All right, we're going to say... Okay. So we're going to cut to the crowd and take a moment of silence as we wait for the strokes to come on.
come back. I got you covered. So Dan, you came in today not having ever been at a musical festival before. What has your number one takeaway been so far? I have my own mic. I think my number one takeaway from this is that there really is a kindness to humanity that I haven't seen when a lot of them get together and they're focused on one thing, whether it be music or dancing or eating or drinking. If you get a lot of people together and they all have the singular goal of having a good time, it's usually a success. There might be pockets of sadness that are floating around. Maybe somebody had too much to drink or didn't like a song they heard. But the general fear of this feeling of this festival is that it's festive and people are happy and joyful and I get now why people do these things. I never really, you know, I, I would see pictures of it and think, oh, that looks hot or sweaty. And because I couldn't see Janis Joplin or Jimi Hendrix or anything like that, I was never drawn to it. But now I see that people go maybe to discover music they haven't heard before or to find a band that they do like and they have a wonderful time and there's a, a brotherhood that comes out of it or a sisterhood or just a, you know, a grouping of the family that feels pretty good. That's my takeaway, in no short terms. Well said, Dan, thank you. And uh, also, um, you can sit down just about anywhere you want. That's, that's another, a pretty big deal. That's another cool thing about the festival. Yeah, you kind of just sit, sit everywhere. and roam as you please. I wouldn't recommend sitting now that it's dark out. No. No. How have you, you don't seen, want to stay standing. How have you seen the festival transition as nightfall has become upon us? Well, you can just see a lot less now. Uh, during the day, you can see a lot. I have my own microphone, Tazzy. This is something you always do. I think the Strokes are about to come on. Oh, my favorite band, the Strokes. I think we should cut some more audience shots. We got any more crowd shots? <laughs> Is this dead air? Can okay. you check? We're all at a crowd shot. We're all out of crowd shots. shots. There's no more audience to shoot. All right. Well, do you want to play Would You Rather? No. That's how we're going to get in trouble. Just stand like this. There we go. Just stand like this. So uh, if you guys have any advice for um, how we should continue with our live broadcast program here at Vice, I have two email addresses for you. You can send one to me. It's com and there's another email address which is s h a n oh, i'm not going to finish it uh, at viceland.com all right can we have jake come back on the stage oh, to let out. us know a couple more safety facts i'm getting the cue that i didn't do very well so i'm gonna i'm just gonna switch the mic over i'm gonna go with you that's a oh, good idea. You're a good Jake. interviewer. Oh, oh thank All right, Jake, you, Here's Dan. the microphone. Thanks, Dan. I hope you do a great job. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. I hope we were on crowd shots for that transition. Me too. I didn't want to have anyone see my back because it's probably pretty darn sweaty. <clears throat> Speaking of the crowd, Jake, what are some things you've seen today that might be deemed as unsafe behavior? Okay. Um, well, you know what? Everyone at Governor's Nurse Ball has been like pretty safe, pretty respectful. Think so? Oh well, you know what? I think the Strokes are gonna come on, so we're gonna we're gonna quit babbling in, in front of you, and uh, and and then I think we're just gonna cut to the Strokes playing. If not, it might be just me and Taji smiling. Jake, any safety tips for when the Strokes do come on? Yes. Uh, well, if the strokes do come on, I think that you, you got to be safe by not rushing the stage. Right now, I see at least, I'm trying to count them, but there's too many. There's a lot of people uh, nearing the stage. Uh, I think that they're about to, to come play, so. And roll tape to the strokes. Thanks, man.